What is up, Tato fam? Hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, depending on where you guys are around the world. We're going to make this a quick video, short and easy for you guys to connect your PlayStation Pro remote to Fortnite. Because there is a problem right now where you cannot connect your PlayStation Pro remote to Fortnite um, through Epic Games. And I cannot get my remote to work through Battle.net. So, I will be showing you on how to get that to work easily. Boom, pronto. I want to make this quick as possible so you guys could just... Get on with your day and start playing your game. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and switch this over to live. Um, okay, we're already on display capture. So as you see, it is going to be Steam. Steam is going to be our way of launching the game. So as of right now, uh, Fortnite is not a Steam game. It's epic. So if you go here, type in Fortnite. Let's just do it all the way so you guys can check. Fortnite, okay? So Fortnite, boom. Nothing pops up for Fortnite, okay? All right, so best thing I could tell you guys to get it to work easy is going right here. Actually, it looks like you can put it on any of these tabs. So it doesn't matter what tab you're on, as long as you can see this right here. You're going to be clicking on the bottom right here where it says Add Game, okay? You're going to go to Add a non-Steam game because this is a non-Steam game. Um, you guys can see I, can already, I already have it added, but I'm already going to show you guys right now. So you're going to head up to right here where it says Browse. Um, go to your Windows C's. This is my Windows. I'm going to go to program file, not 86, okay? Top one. Scroll all the way down until you see Epic Games. You're going to go to Fortnite. Fortnite Games. Binaries. Win64. And it's going to be the top one. Or, because it depends on how you have your order. You know, sometimes some of the stuff is ordered weird. Um, and So, you're going to look for the one with the biggest amount of kegabytes on it which is going to be this one right here and click on it you're going to go to open once you open it it's going to add it to right here so we have it right here fortnite um so also another thing you can do too is i don't know why fortnite doesn't let you do it but it does it anyways so another thing you can do is once you have your call of duty installed because call of duty you can install through steam you're going to go do uh manage actually not yeah, yeah manage manage and then you're going to go all the way to actually you know what properties i don't know why i said manage then you're going to head to controller, okay? You're going to click on, make sure it says PlayStation. It's just saved anyways because you, you have it connected anyways. So we're going to click right here and put enabled Steam input. Boom, okay? So once that is all done, we're going to go to Fortnite and launch Fortnite and show you that the remote is working through um, Steam. Um, by the way, Steam is not too bad to have. I just wish um, we were able to download all the other games on there. But good thing that they added this to here, so you can add it, and, um, yes, so, Steam has their own function for your controllers, because it has for the Switch, the Wii, the Xbox, it has everything preset for it, so when you hook the mobile controller up, it recognizes it, and it's preset, okay? And also, make sure if you guys buy the Pro, please, I don't want to stress this enough, please, if you guys buy that Pro mobile controller, or make sure you guys have a PlayStation 5 to map it. If you don't, get one of your brothers or sisters i don't know maybe cousins somebody in your family that has the you know has the game already the console i mean i know it's a game the console so you could copy on the remote because once you have a copy on there it saves it's on there all right so we're launching this you can see in the corner access the sim community while playing that is a good thing it's showing you that it's launched through their launcher instead of the epic game launcher and once we have this, it, you're, you're good to go. That's it. Make sure, if, if you guys run into a little problem where it's not working, or we'll start the PC, because you might have to do that. And, boom, boom, we are in. That is it, you know, I'll make the video quick as possible, so we, when we post it on YouTube, slash, um, TikTok, slash Twitter, wherever we post it, hopefully you guys can see it, and uh, hopefully this helped you guys out a lot. Hopefully it helped you guys out a lot. Appreciate it, and have a good night. Cheers.